number one thing I hate about living in London in winter is the fact that it gets dark so quickly. It just annoys me. But anyway, I think I have finally found the place that we are going to. I haven't introduced this video. I don't think you can hear me very well because it's very windy. But I'm going to a bookshop that's on the boat. So yeah, without further ado, if this wind will allow me to speak, let's go and check it out. Oh my god, you guys, I can see it. I can see right there. I'm going to turn you around so you can see what I'm looking at. And oh my god, it looks so cool. It's the little things in life that make me so happy. Playing Congolese music. Wow. Well, sounds like Congolese music. I hope I'm right. Sounds so cool. Is one of the coolest places I have ever come to. It is so beautiful here. Honestly, if you're somebody who loves books and just loves cute, cozy places, you need to come and visit this. Next time you're in London or if you live in London and you are a book lover and you've never come to this place before, you definitely need to come and visit it because I am having such a wonderful time. Like. I can't even explain how beautiful it is. I know the camera is not going to do it justice. You just have to come and see for yourself. They have like a cute little fireplace. They have a place you can sit and read. It's absolutely beautiful here. I'll tell you more once I leave. For now, I'm just going to sit here and take it all in.
but I've been sat here exploring and walking around for like an hour and something and it's time to go home now because this is not my home <laughs> as much as I want it to be my home like imagine having this place as your library how cool would that be I'm finished I'm out of word on the water that book store or should I say that book board is absolutely beautiful in there Honestly, as I said in the previous clip, if you are somebody who loves books and you just love beautiful bookstores, bookshops, and you just, the coziness of it, you know, it's cold here in London. Um, but in that shop, there was a fireplace. It was just so cozy and so lovely. That I'm so glad I came and I did buy two books. Um, I don't know whether to show them to you in this video or to hold them until I do a book haul because I'm planning to do like a New Year's book haul so I might hold them and show them in the next video because I'm going to post this video first and then um, post the book haul video so I think I might do that, not sure yet. <laughs> So as I finished editing this video, I realized that I actually didn't share the books that I bought with you. Although I kept on saying in my previous clips that I am going to do a book haul. However, I don't know when I'm actually going to be able to do this book haul, you know? And I thought to myself, if I was watching a book shopping video and the person didn't share the books they bought with me, I'll feel a little bit like why you know i've been with you on this journey we went to book shopping together we had all the fun and now i don't even get to complete the fun i don't get to see the books that you bought so i thought to myself i'm not gonna do that to you guys so i am here to share the books that i bought i only bought two books as i said honestly i had so much fun going book shopping as you saw you would have seen in the video before you got to this point in the video that place is absolutely stunning if you are somebody who lives in london and you love books and you've never visited the place that i went the bookstore on the water the boat on the water let me tell you something you need to go there right now like you need to go there right now if you're somebody who doesn't live in london and you are thinking of coming to london and you're like oh what cool place should i go book shopping definitely go where i went because it's absolutely beautiful i had so much fun anyways i'm rambling on without further ado let me share with you the two books that I bought. Now, the first book that I bought is no other than The Kite Runner. I know most of you know this book. This, I believe, has also been turned into a film. However, I have never seen the film. I have never read the book. It's a book that has always been on my tibia. It's a book that I want to read. However, I know it is very, very sad. And I'm one of those people, before I read sad books <laughs> i have to mentally prepare myself especially sad books like this book you know this is a historical fiction i think this book is very similar to one of my favorite books this one right here the big keeper of aleppo obviously they're not the same books but very similar because this is also a historical fiction this is set in syria however this one i believe is set in afghanistan and it's about two boys two friends one of them dies in afghanistan and one of them moved to america and then i think years later the other boy goes back to Afghanistan and obviously the fallout from the war and everything that's all I know about this book and I'm excited to read it also I'm dreading it because I know I'm gonna be sad and I'm gonna be in tears probably so yeah so this is the book this is the first book that I bought comment down below and let me know if you have ever read it I know this is a lot of people's like favorite books I haven't really had anything bad being said about this book so as soon as I saw it I just knew that I had to pick it up and it had to come home with me and I need to read it soon I don't know when but I need to read it soon now the second book that I picked up was actually recommended to me by the lady that works there I was a bit like torn between what to buy because I was like mm, should I I go for my usual um, books that I buy that I'm like I'm familiar with that I see on book talk or TikTok or in the book community and I thought to myself you know what let me just 
go out of my comfort zone and ask somebody else to recommend a book for me so i asked the lady that works works there what was her last favorite book that she read and she recommended this book to me the island of sea women i have never heard of this book before i'm pretty sure if she hadn't recommended it to me i would have never actually picked up this book because i don't know nothing about this book but she really like spoke highly of it and she said she loved it so much but all i know is it's a book about three women three three female divers who go and dive and provide for their family it is set in japan during the second world war so that's all i really know about it i don't know much about it however i'm really excited to read it because it's a it's a it's a different book it's a different book than i would pick up although I, I like to consider myself, to think of myself as a wide reader. I don't really have like a specific genre that I'm like, this is the one I read and this is the one I stick to all the time. I don't really have that. I do read the romance, but I, re I also read a lot of other books. I read a lot of non-fiction books, a lot of personal growth books, a lot of memoirs. I love memoirs. So yeah, I read quite a lot of different books. So I'm really excited to get into this. I'll let you guys know how I like it. Those are all the books that I bought. I bought two books. I was planning to go to another bookstore, but I never ended up going on that particular day that I did go book shopping on the board. Yeah, I am due another day because honestly, just going book shopping really like brings me joy. I just love going to bookstores and walking around. Sometimes I just go in there. I don't even have to buy a book and I just walk around and I look at all the books and I'm like, it just brings me joy. It brings me peace. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird, but honestly, like sometimes if I go to work, there was like a bookstore near where I work and usually I'll go like early because I don't want to be too early to work and I'll go into that bookstore and I'll walk around and just like pick up a book and like read, this, read the synopsis. Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, those are the two books that I bought. Thank you for watching this video. If you have gotten to the end, I want you to comment the last favorite book of yours that you read and uh, encourage me to read it. Give me a reason as to why I should pick it up and read it. And then we can have a really fun discussion down below in the comments. So without further ado, hope you have a lovely day, a lovely morning morning that's backwards hope you have a lovely morning a lovely day or a lovely night so lots of love Mwah. bye